Hello dear traders, I'm Anna Kasatkina. Welcome to Insta TV. The ongoing slump in oil prices has bolstered demand for the American currency. The European crude benchmark, the North Sea brand, slipped below 30 US dollars per barrel for the first time since April 2004. Amid the continued uncertainty over the future of oil, traders are shifting to safe haven assets, including the US dollar. Nevertheless, some majors remain stable, resisting the pressure and showing solid performance versus their U.S. counterpart. The Japanese yen, known for its safe haven status, was able to gain strength against the greenback. The dollar-yen pair was heading down steadily towards 117.30 in late Asian trading against the background of massive sales in global equity markets. However, pre-European deals saw a renewed buying interest for the greenback from market participants. As a result, the currency pair climbed by 80 pips, landing at 118.10. The Australian dollar is also on the rise versus the US currency. The upside movement in the pair was mainly driven by the release of labour market data from Australia. According to the figures provided by the Australian Bureau of Statistics, the jobless rate remained steady at 5.8%. The report defied the expectations of economists, who had predicted an increase to 5.9% in the percentage of unemployed Australians as compared to the total labour force in the country country. The employment data also surprised markets as it printed better than expected labour statistics. The report indicates that the Australian economy generated 17.6 thousand full-time jobs. The number of people employed in Australia dropped by 1,000, while markets had anticipated a contraction of 11,000. The Australian dollar regained some of its earlier losses, adding about 50 pips and rising to 0.6968. Still, many currency strategies are completely certain that the price will resume its downtrade in the short term, despite the overall positive fundamental picture. Technical indicators suggest that the pair broke below one of the strongest support levels, the September low at 0.69. This was Daily Financial News on Insta TV. Thanks for watching and goodbye.